Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down some Naya Slivers. We got that double blossoming sand hand, but holy crap, we got a lot of lords. Uh, we'll definitely keep this. Um, it's a little unfortunate these are blossoming sands. Love to just be playing lords into whatever we're up against, but uh, we'll still keep this. Tuna, tunic troll, tunic troll. It's going first with some blue. Okay, okay. Uh, not exactly what I want to see with double tap lands. Uh, really is going to slow down our clock and just allow them to hold up counter spells if they have them. Let's see if they ponder here. Nope, they're just going to pass. All right. Another Viverlint. Not bad, actually, but uh, again, just a little slow. Just a little slow for blue. But they're going to brainstorm. Get that card draw going. That's fine. I got my kombucha here, drinking my kombucha. I always try to get myself a kombucha for the weekend when I record. All right, so that's that's pretty good actually. That allows us to at least play something. Drawing a winding way isn't too bad either in this matchup. It means we can continually get creatures if they start going for counters. Let's see if they got a. No, that won't work. What do you got? Force Spike. You're using Force Spike. All right. Fair enough. I can't pay the one. Ooh. Why do people not play with this more? This actually seems pretty decent. Actually, isn't... Yeah, for... no, Force Spike is good. Force Spike is good. <clears throat> good hit. Ooh. All right. So they're playing some Splash of Black. So this could just be like Delver. But no turn one Delver play, which is good. Now they got that double counter spell up. Be nice to get another one drop here, maybe, just so I can... That's not the one drop we were looking for. Hmm. Do I toss a Lord into a counter spell? I don't think so. I think we're just going to try to go Viverlint, see if they want to counter... They are. Sure thing. Alright, we'll pass. Gotta get it out of their hands somehow. Um, it'd be good to draw some more lands now so we can start playing two things a turn. Just to overwhelm their counterspell magic holdups. <clears throat> Gurmog? Yep, Gurmog. Early Gurmog. That's a good that's a good Gurmog right there, I'll be honest. And they got that counter spell. We may be we may be in trouble here. A lot of trouble. Got another counter? Come on, let me play some stuff. Let me start getting these things out. Doesn't look like it's gonna happen. They got the nuts hand, that's for sure. And I told you, that's what happens. If you have two tap lands going against a control deck and you know it, like, oh my gosh, you may really want to consider mulliganing because uh, you're just too slow. You're just way too slow. If it takes two, two turns to get your two mana untapped to start playing lords, it's too late. Deprive has entered the revealed card zone. Yep, so they got Deprive. They can't play the Deprive, but... They could play like a spell stutter sprite. So we gotta play around that. Oh, what else could they have? There's a few things they might be able to have to hold up counter spells still. We might be lucky and be able to put one thing down though. Well, we keep drawing lords, which is cool, but unfortunately they're just stonewalling us here. Alright, we get one down. But it's looking bleak. Swing in, my friend. Yeah, we're going to take the five. What are you doing, ninjutsu? Ninjutsu? Oh, Agni Warp. Okay, I see you. I see you. This is a good control deck. They've got all the stuff. No blocks. Obs. And they got two cards in hand. Obviously, I just got to go for it. Just got to go for it. And, man, 
man, they had uh, such a great hand. This is ridiculous. Yep, there's the deprive. Yeah, we knew about that too, but there's not much I can do about it. Uh, yeah, we're pretty much done. Uh, we'll go one more turn, and then we'll just uh, go to game two here. If I can't get a, cr a creature down next turn, then, you know. It's over. Well, we get a planes. Uh, so let's go here. Counter that. Yeah, another counter. That doesn't get countered. Alright, so we'll get a little board. We can chump block. Gonna counter that. Letting me have my lord. Pretty interesting. So. Yeah, kind of just want to concede here. Let's see what their last... Okay, yeah, that's that's cool. Cool, 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 cool. Let's sideboard. Let's get those pyroblasts in. Uh, fire... Fireball? Fireball might be all right. We'll bring one in. Let's go ahead and drop a winding. We'll drop... Drop a hunter... Probably drop a striking. Seems reasonable. Do we need anything else? Could bring in standard bear maybe since they do have some removal. I think I'm just going to run it back like this. <clears throat> Relic actually is decent here too. Maybe I should be putting that in. Can't really chance it though at this point. Yeah, probably should have brought Relic in. That was pretty silly of me. Probably would have cut... Probably would have dropped the fireball and like a lead the stampede brought in two relics, honestly. I could technically still do it if I want to chance it. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Ooh, just in the nick of time. It's always sketchy when you hit submit and then you want to change more stuff. You can do it, but yeah, you just gotta be careful. Okay. Well, we'll keep this. Uh, I wish there was some more stuff going on, but it's it's a keepable hand. We'll go Sidewinder. We'll get something on the board. And we should be able to drop the Viverlint too and hold up mana for an Ash Barons. Sounds reasonable. <clears throat> There's the turn one Delver. Not pretty. Alright, another forest. So yeah, we're just gonna go Viverlint. Attack in. Get these Ash Barons out of our hand a little bit. Start clearing our deck of lands. And hopefully just... Hope to top deck some decent stuff. Will he flip? If he flips, we're in trouble. No flip. All right. Preordained. That's pretty good, actually, because we should be able to get our Lord down next turn, which will be excellent. Kind of depend on getting this Lord out right now to maintain some sort of decent board presence. They could have the Force Spike if they drop another land, though. Okay, so no, we're good. We are good. I'm just going to do this now. We'll go ahead and grab another planes. Let's see what we draw. Fireball. Uh, maybe we should start going for that mountain with us next, Ash Barons. I would think would be the proper thing to do. Just to make sure we have it for when we need it. Did we cut the fireball? Did it not take? Does it not take after you submit? I thought you could change it after you submit. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I thought you could still change the deck after you hit submit, but I guess not. Once you submit, that's it. I could have swore I've changed it before after I've hit submit, but maybe I just didn't notice that it didn't actually work. So maybe I'm just incorrect on that completely. Sorry if I am. I guess it makes sense. If you hit submit, that's just what you roll with. Because we did cut that for the two relics, but so be it. Now we get a flip on the apparition. Um, 
but if he attacks in, you know, it's not super great for him. He could hold it back as a chump blocker for our Lord, which he will. Pyroblast. Oh, I forgot to Ash Barons. All right, that's all right. We can, we can still Ash Baron since we didn't draw a creature. Yeah, I should have done that already. So let's go mountain. Play the mountain. Now, do we go for the kill on this? What can he do? Because I can kill this thing with Pyroblast, but I don't want to play into anything. All right, we're going to go for it. See what happens. Should have done this pre-combat. Definitely should have. But it is what it is. It's too late now. Uh, let's see. What do they got? Let's see if they're playing with uh, Spell Stutter. They could go for a kill spell on my lord. If we're killing their thing, they could be going... Yep, alright, so they're going to go for a kill spell on my... On my sinew, give some negative to my lord. So that means the apparition is still going to die. Which, that's fine. We'll get in for two more damage. They take care of our Viverlint. I think that's pretty fair. Still need to draw into some more creatures, though. That's for sure. They're struggling on their double blue right now. They got another Delver, so that's a bit unfortunate. All right, cool. We get a get a nice creature here. Let's throw this out. Oh, let's see. Do I kill? I could. I could kill this again. I think I will actually. Right? Am I doing this right? Choose that target. Pay one. Knock him out of here. Just keep them uh keep them back. There we go. Alright, good. That's good. I don't want any more Delvers on the field, you know? <clears throat> They're going to get their double blue finally, but now we're empty-handed and we have a pretty decent board. They still have six cards in hand, so it's not impossible them for, for them to still come back and do some nice stuff. But you know these decks play with a lot of counter spells. We could see a Gurmog here. Looks like that's what they might be going for. Yep. All right. Gurmog's out. Pyroblast, can't kill it with Pyroblast. Uh, Fireball would have taken a lot of man to do. We might have been able to save it for that. Uh, and just tried to maybe get a gem hide and play into it. But I, I think it was still better to just kill the Delver. Alright, Plated is nice. But it's probably going to get countered. Doesn't get countered. Flanking isn't going to be the most effective thing here yet. But we can swing in for six. So I think I am going to do that. They'll take out one of our lords, but we're going to put them to one, which puts them in a really bad state. Because then they have to get another creature down. Like, they have to, otherwise they're going to die. So I think this is a fair move. They get to eat one of my lords, but they go to one life. And we should be able to go to game three. Augur. Alright, well that's a good blocker. They need something else though here. In order to survive. Echoing Decay. Uh, they tapped the wrong mana. No, they don't even have enough mana. 
Oh, they've got Delver. Oh my gosh, they found the blockers. That's pretty crazy. They found the blockers. Wow. That's control for you. It's good. Good build. Uh, I didn't want to exit out of Echoing Decay, actually. Didn't mean to do that. Wanted to leave that up. Okay. Well, we are going to leave the Stampede here. Hopefully just find a Lord or something. We do. Um, yeah, it's too bad. I want to play everything here, but we're going to play the Lord while we have the chance. We could continue to force them to block and just eat creatures. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to keep the pressure on. This is forcing them to block with Delver and Augur. It just gets them off the board. They eat another one of our lords. But they're at one life, man. Uh, and all we need to do is attack in with get around one thing. So they, they will continually have to put down chump blockers from turn after turn after turn so block there eat our lord fine so be it they have to block these otherwise they die we'll still have three creatures on the battlefield and then they still have their work cut out for them don't really like tossing my lords into getting eaten like this but i feel it is necessary at this point okay cool Still got the work cut out for them. Let's see what happens. Again, they need two chump blockers. <laughs> All right, cool. Game three. All right, so <clears throat> Fireball actually did help us in that game, which is funny. I think I still do you want at least like one relic? I want to keep my gem hides. Cut one blade back. Just bring in one relic. Is one relic good enough? Does that make enough of a difference? Or do I just say screw it, cut the fireball? Maybe I say screw it, cut the fireball. I mean, it did take out a Delver. I just don't know how strong it is in this matchup, but I feel like it's not that strong. I feel like we cut it and bring in another relic to diminish the... the guy, the Gurmog. I think I can be okay with this. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? How's Fireball in this matchup? I, I don't know. Obviously, Pyroblast is good. Relic is still good. Fireblast... Uh, uh, Pyro... Yeah, Fire Blast. It did help us last game, but uh, how much did it actually help, you know? Can't keep this hand. That's unfortunate. We're mulliganing, which is pretty unfortunate. Uh, we can keep this. We'll cut a gem. Say done. <clears throat> we got two. Turn one. Plain turn. Turn one. Turn turn one. One, 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 one drops. It's late, guys. I've had a long day. Uh, <laughs> so I apologize. All right, turn one Delver again. That's lovely. So we're going to turn one uh, Plains, drop down a Plated, and then turn two Blossoming, drop down another Sidewander, do what we need to do. Getting Lords, that's good. We just need to play around the counter spells, like we do. This could be a, a much worse Mulligan. Uh, hopefully this doesn't flip. If this flips now, we're in trouble. So we are in trouble. Tragic lesson. Draw two cards. Then discard card unless you return a land you can. Okay. Cool. Swing it in for three. Clock is on. Big clock. Okay. Ah, oh, but they're stuck on a one lander? Shoot. Oh, I really want to go for a predatory here, but I do not want to get force spiked. Getting a predatory or a muscle down is really, really strong. I just hope I don't get force spiked. But they kept a one lander. Why, okay, why would they keep a one lander? 
I kept the one lander to play Delve. Delver. And they had other one drops. So they either have like a brainstorm. Alright, I'm gonna go for it. Hopefully I don't get punished here by a force spike. I don't. That's excellent. Really concerning about a force spike there. But we get it down, so that is very good. Now, if Gem High can resolve, if they can stay on one land, we're going to be in really good shape here. Oh my gosh, they're on one land. This is great. So do I... You know what? I'm not going to do Gem Hide. I'm just going to go for this because we know either they don't have the Force Spike. Awesome. What a board. What a mulligan. Now we're racing. Race is on. They're going to have to start holding back the Aberration. They need a land bad. Oh, that's rough for them. I don't know why they got so greedy with this. They had a, they had one, one drop play? Like, that's it? They got punished really bad. Okay. Wow. Uh, they had a perfect hand game one. We had a good matchup game two. And they just really got greedy with game three, so... You know, we've been punished before for keeping one landers, so that's just how the cookie crumbles. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that matchup, though. That was a pretty decent one. Uh, leave a like and a comment below if you did. Make sure to subscribe, and don't miss out on any more Naya Slivers coming up the rest of the week. And we will see you guys in the next video.